But first up today, do you know what you're having for lunch? How about chicken salad with a cultural spin on it? Well, Yuen Liu is the author of the new cookbook, Vietnamese. Isn't that book beautiful? In this book, Yuen shares 80 of her tastiest recipes from traditional meals to modern creations. Um, well, I'm going to have this for dinner today. I'm going to make a chicken salad with sugar snap peas and pomegranate and Vietnamese coriander. I love sugar snap peas. All right, so how do we put it all together? What goes in it? Here I've prepped the sugar snap peas and some radish. Um, I've also done some pickled onion with cider vinegar, sugar, and a bit of black pepper. Um, and then what's the most important thing, apart from the chicken, is the dressing, the fish sauce that makes it all blend together and is the perfect Vietnamese balance of sweet, sour, um, salty, hot, umami, and bitter. Yeah. I love it. I love it. All right, well, let's get cooking. So do you just mix it all together? Is it super easy? So I've chopped the sugar snap peas, the vegetables, pickled, and I've torn the chicken. So what I need to do next is to make a dressing. Chilies and garlic. That's about two chilies. And a clove of garlic. And here, some lime. I always put the lime in first because this sort of cools down the chili a bit and, and ceviche is the, um, the garlic. Ah. Three spoons. I just mix it up a bit. And then I'm going to add in some fish sauce. I'm only making half the chicken because it's just two of us eating tonight. <laughs> so I'm just doing half the recipe. But well, that's nice that it's easy to just half it. I never get the ingredients right. So this looks like it's easy to, to split in two. Yeah. And um, for the sweetness, you can either add sugar or maple syrup or honey and mix that together. And what kind of chilies can we use in this? So if you like things really spicy, then you can use um, bird's eye chilies or you can just use regular red chilies, um, whichever you fancy. It really doesn't matter. And so I'm going to add in about two as well, two and a half of pistachios. You can use cashew nuts or peanuts, whatever nuts you've got to hand. I love pistachios. They just got such a lovely flavor. So I've made that together. And what you can also do is you can just put it in a jar as well, shake it up and keep the rest in the jar so you can use it another time, you know, and save on your yes. up. So I'm going Add the chicken and then mix that together with... So everything just goes into one bowl. Perfect. And then here I've got um, Vietnamese coriander. It's like a really lovely, spicy, kind of like a Thai basil herb. But if you can't get hold of this, then, you know, just use mint or regular coriander and just mix all of that together. And now I'm just going to pour the sauce over it. Just the dressing that you made. Yeah. That looks delicious. And this is one of the many recipes in your new book. Let's talk about that, your new cookbook, Vietnamese. I wrote it during lockdown. I really wanted people to understand Vietnamese food better. You know, those who absolutely love it, to those who are new to it, to feel that it's completely achievable at home. Mm -hmm. It's just as easy as whipping up a bowl of pasta sometimes with some noodles. For instance, this recipe, it, it took a little bit of time because the chicken needed poaching and then you had to slice the vegetables. But other than that, you know, there's minimal skill involved and you can have a really healthy, quick midweek or weekend feast on Vietnamese and, and just eat really healthily and well. It and does look so healthy, so delicious. What other recipes can you find in the book? So there's loads of midweek recipes like braised pork belly or chicken and rice to shaking beef and summer rolls and spring rolls. Lots of Vietnamese favorites. And then there are just some new ones that I've invented like um, cashew nut noodles with roasted cauliflower. You know, I've adapted um, like a typical Vietnamese person to my geographical area. And so I use what's in season mostly and it's available. 
because sometimes I can't get all of the the, the specialist views. I love that. I love um, that it's adapted. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, show us the salad one more time, would you? Here. Mm, that's so good, Yuan. I wish I could eat with you. You can throw in some pomegranate seeds as well and extra coriander leaves and, mm. and herbs. So you can have it with rice or prawn crackers. And you can find the recipe for the chicken salad that Yuan showed us along with the link to her new cookbook on New Day's website.